How's it going, everyone? So, you want to get your CDL in 2021. Well, here's four of the common ways of how you can accomplish getting your CDL and some pros and cons about them. So, stay tuned. Be right back. So we're going to go over four of the most common ways you can get your CDL, some pros and cons about each. That way you're kind of educated about which route you want to take, what's going to be best for you, and where to go. So first way, your buddy has a truck, trailer that you can go get training on. He'll let you take to the DMV, test out, and get your CDL that way. Uh, pro to that, it's probably not going to cost you any money at all if your buddy just hooks you up. Or he might want some fuel money or food money or beer money. <clears throat> so, that's one option. Um, the downside or con to that is a lot of companies are not going to touch you because you have no interstate experience. Uh, or literally no experience at all. It's an insurance issue. A lot of companies are really cracking down on that so um, keep that in mind so unless you have a company lined up that's willing to take you with zero experience but with your CDL um, I wouldn't recommend that route because even if you were to go on to like go to a training company with just your CDL and no ex over the road experience you're gonna get classified as a student and have to sign the contract and be the same thing as Joe Schmo off the street without a CDL, even though you have one. Um, so keep that in mind. As I said, it's great if you have a, if you have somewhere that'll take you, but other than that, it's probably not the best option to go. Uh, second option is going through a training company, Prime, Wilson, CR England, Swift. Uh, I could probably see here name off a whole bunch of them. Um, uh, I'll be doing a video later kind of breaking down company by company on that uh, Pro to them is if you get your CDL through them You are more than likely guaranteed a job through them. I know with Prime and Wilson For sure if you pass your CDL test you are guaranteed a job with that company So you're not gonna have to go out hunting for a company to um, Hire you on and get your driving Um most of the companies already have a set pay rate, so you're going to know right, when, right before you even go into training what pay and everything all is. So that's going to be a part of that other video is breaking down these companies and what the actual pay is, the benefits of going one to the uh, one to the other. Um, con is is you're more likely going to get locked into at least a year-long contract, um, which isn't a terrible thing. Again, it comes down to most companies are looking for a minimum of a year experience. If you don't have the year, most companies are just kind of... Some will work with you at six months. It just kind of keep that in mind on what your next step is. Say you're, you're wanting to use Prime as your... To get your CDL and move on to, let's say... Who am I looking at? I'm looking at a Rush truck. And you want to go to your ultimate goal is to get to Rush. Just find out what their requirements are to get onto them before you even start, say, at Prime to get your CDL. So, uh, Walmart's a perfect example of that. I think it's five years. Last time I looked, it could have been less. Could be less now. Um, RST, where I'm at, you have to have two years' experience to get on. It all boils down to insurance requirements. <clears throat> also, that humming you're hearing right now, nothing I can really kind of do about it. It's the reefer, so sorry about the kind of the audio right now. Um, but that's kind of the pros and cons about going through a training company. As I said, I will break down companies later on in different videos. Um, the third option is going through a workforce program that usually is held at like community colleges or job placement centers and all that they'll set you up with what they it's part of the workforce best way I can describe it program um or even what is it the 
places that help you find jobs. Go through them. They'll actually have programs to get you into um, CDL training. A lot of those, some of them were set up for programs where it's like grants and stuff that you can get and it's free. Um, pros to that, it can be free. It is going to be a lot more in-depth training than what you would probably get at a company. Um, but some cons are to it is they're not all free. And then after you get your CDL, you're going to have to company hunt and then go to whatever company and then do whatever training or whatever requirements that they have. Um, just because you get your CDL doesn't mean you're automatically going to hop in a truck and be on your own. Also, with that, you got to make sure that that training, that that college is what uh, they call accredited. If it's not uh, an accredited school, you just wasted all that time, money, and effort on nothing. So keep that in mind. And again, if you're looking at going that route and say you're going to do that instead of going through Prime's program to get their CDL, contact the company, contact Prime, contact whoever you're going planning your next step is and say, hey, I'm looking at going to this school. Would you accept um, my training from this school? They'll tell you flat up yes or no. So, um, so that's the third. Fourth option is kind of the same thing as the third, but it's not quite. It's what I would consider me personally as last resort um, is going through trucking schools like Roadmaster. Um, personally, I think they are super predatory. They charge way too much money to get to get your CDL. Um, I've not just Roadmaster, but there's some up in the Northeast where I've heard it's like eleven to fifteen thousand dollars to get your CDL. I don't know about you, but I didn't have pretty much a pop to piss in when I started, so that wasn't an option for me. Now, granted, some of those they will go through and um, pretty much not charge you right away, but you're signing up, you're putting your name and credit and everything else, and more than likely having to get a co signer and put in their credit on the line. And then you're hoping that you can get hired on at a company somewhere and they're going to take on that debt for you and pay on it for, again, you're going to end up in a contract with these companies for a set amount of time so that way um, they can get they can recuperate their money some of them will reimburse you some of them they'll just deduct it from your pay so make sure you get the full information um, if you're considering going that route I would highly suggest um, making sure that you know what your next step is going to be and going through top contacting them and making sure you have all the information in front of you so that way you know exactly what you're getting into so um, that's the four common ways I'm probably missing information and stuff on like that but kind of trying to keep these kind of shorter for you guys um, if you want me as I said I'm gonna to touch on more of the training companies and stuff like that later on um, in different videos and kind of breaking down pay home times kind of stuff what to look for um, and try and help you guys out if you guys have any comments kind of suggestions of anything that you want me to cover leave it in the comments below or go to my Facebook page um, search let's go trucking with Jake or uh, I think it's Jake the trucker you can one of the two ways you can find it um, trying to stay off of email I just got too many emails and too many things here get confusing to just either comment below or go to Facebook and message me or post on my page and I will get back to you. Um, again, appreciate the support. Make sure you subscribe, turn on all notifications, and we will talk to you next time.